There's this woman that I used to know that repeated over and over again, I'm so stupid. And I would tell her every time, you are not stupid, you have the mind of Christ. And finally, she got it, although it took her way too long. But when she got it, her whole life changed. And she was actually quite intelligent. Well, the marvelous powers of mind are yours. For you have the mind of Christ. There is a fusion between your human mind and the mind of Christ. Your mind is a receiver of consciousness, and it can receive all the divine ideas that it needs. We have a God-given ability to learn, to comprehend, to remember, to act effectively, for we all have the mind of Christ. Let us not ever tell ourselves that we're stupid or that we have a poor memory or that we're forgetful or that we're too old to learn new things. Oh boy, have I heard that. Whether you're 8, 18, or 80, age has nothing to do with your ability to remember what needs to be remembered and recalled, to learn what needs to be learned to comprehend what needs to be comprehended and, and also to understand what needs to be understood. We have the mind of Christ. In 1 Corinthians 2.16 it says exactly that. We have the mind of Christ. The student, the teacher, the person that is undertaking a new job, the one learning some new skill, whatever the learning experience, the divine capacity to succeed is in each one of us. We have the power of perfect concentration. We have an inspired memory. We have the wisdom and we have the understanding from the infinite source of light and truth within us. Marvelous powers of mind are ours, for we have the mind of Christ. And I want you to realize that you're connected with that wisdom, that you're connected with that genius thought, for you have the mind of Christ.